Hello YouTube and welcome to this channel. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can split a symmetric model and you get the same result in faster simulation time. Uh, you may ask why you are so into this splitting uh, because this, the, the model that you just introduced I simulated it was not that much tough to to simulate it well that is true but the, the the point of the fact is here you can actually apply the same um, rules that I'm showing you here to any other models and you can actually do the simulations that are impractical if you don't do that so remember that some of the simulations because it's too big the computer will give you an error meaning that the, we don't have enough memory to run that and when you see this kind of error do not uh, stop you can actually simplify the model and you can get the simulator to do give give you very very almost the same amount same accuracy for the results so let's go ahead and show you how you can actually uh, simplify this model which does not look quite symmetric to me Okay, if you want to dis define this, you can actually say, you you know, I, I can actually make this thing to one-fourth of that or like one-sixteenth of, um, of this. But at the moment, this, this design is not totally symmetric because if you look at the rotor, the stator, the rotor actually, it's not actually perfectly aligned with the, with the poles. And if you cut this, some part has this um, um, teeth and the other part doesn't have it. And, you know, one-fourth of this w might not give you a very good result. So what you want to do is you want to change uh, the rotor a bit and also change the, the stator with the coils and everything and then from that point you can get um, a better uh, split uh, point okay so um, let's uh, start by rotating everything I'm just pressing control and A and uh, and I will go and select the rotate if I can find it, okay, they've got rotate, and then you can say I want to rotate it for 22 degrees and 0.5 uh, over the Z axis, which is okay, which is the the axis that we are actually looking at through, and uh, you just press OK, and after you did that, you will see that everything is rotated, and now you can actually select the the rotor itself and. Uh, and again, you you say I want to rotate the rotor itself uh, for only 7.5 um, degree. Okay, I cannot type 7.5 over the same z axis. And uh, there we go. So now what you have is something that is more symmetric. You can see that over here and over here you can actually exactly uh, divide this. So let's do this. So let's go ahead and start. Um, uh, doing the split. Okay, I'm gonna select everything by select and uh, control A or you can go into the edit and say select all and um, and then what you do is you would go uh, to um, the modeler again and to the boolean and you say I wanna split everything and this time I'm gonna make sure that I'm splitting over X Y and I wanna keep the positive side for example and um, and uh, delete the invalid objects created during the operation okay so make sure that all of these are checked and then press OK okay so we've done one split and the other split since everything's already all selected all you can go to the modeler again and go to the uh, to the boolean and split and this time you can split it over the YZ the same uh, thing in fact with one different one that is and this time you want to keep everything in the negative side so everything would be in the one uh, side of the, the story okay so then press OK so now what you have here is uh, one fourth of what we what we had, um, and now we are ready to assign our excitations. Now, uh, so what you want to do is you want to uh, move this, rotate this. Okay, there we go. So now we we can see what we have uh, in hand. So we can actually start working uh, with what we have. 
So um, if you look at that, you can see that our uh, uh, basically the regions that we have are not anymore the same and uh, uh, and what we want to do is we want to apply the terminals now on the back here so all those terminals that we had of course it's already gone um, so let me go back into this uh, model here and make sure that you can see that there's no sheets remain because it's all gone it's not anymore there so let's press F oops sorry let's press F and uh, start assigning uh, the terminals um, so I'm gonna select the face here and right click on that and I say I wanna assign the coil terminal and this time I'm gonna call it terminal um, I can call it actually T for terminal and I can call it A uh, actually I have to look at it which one is this so let's go to the coil so this is A2 this is uh, B and this is D so okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with D so I wanna call an excitation and I'm gonna call this one these are just name for convention but let's make it like easier so this is basically D1 and I want to call this one a D1 uh, but then this is the the first uh, terminal so I will call it the terminal 1 of D1 the number of conductors is going to be 150 turns and that's it so for the second one uh, I'm going to go select that and go to the excitation and call it T, uh, D1 again and this time I want to have the second coil, the second terminal with 150 turns is still valid. And this time I'm going to make sure that I'm sweeping the directions because the current comes in and the current goes out. Um, the reason that we need to do that now is because we already cut this. And uh, when you cut the, the terminals and everything, now you have to define the two sides where the, com where the current come in, where the current goes out. But if we had one loop, like one conduction loop then you just assign one side of it this is the current and then it will loop around it you don't need to do two terminals but when the the loop is already cut it because we are going to do the split simulations now you do need this is basically the point of this splitting thing is now you need to assign two side and make sure that you are swapping the directions so the current is coming in and then going out okay so now this is the coil a uh, 2 so I'm gonna go and say for the T um, a 2 1 uh, I'm gonna have 150 turns and let's just say the current is going in and now the current is going out so let's call it T a 2 to 150 turns and basically the swap there we go. So you see the current is coming in and going out. And let's do this one as well. So this is coil C1. So I'm going to right click an excitation and say this is the terminal for C1. And this is the first terminal. I have 150 turns for this. And um, I leave it like that. So the, the, the thing is coming in. And next time the current is going to go out. So this would be the terminal for C1 and number two and basically so directions right there okay and uh, now we are left with the two side coils these are the the, the, the third phase the fourth phase remember the re the reason that we cut this like this is because we want to make sure that we have all phases you can see the red red yellow green and basically red yellow black all fine and then the green has half and half okay which is okay because um, we have two coils of that and then we just present it so uh, basically what we are looking at here is the this is the coil uh, B1 so I'm gonna say this is uh, the terminal of B1 and uh, this is the first terminal of that and right there I'm gonna say 150 and uh, look at the directions going in that's okay so this one is gonna be going out so basically T B1 is going to go out. Okay. Uh, one more time for TB2, I, I believe. Yes. 
So by the way, if you cannot select the face, you have to say select face or press F. Otherwise, you cannot select the faces. Uh, but by now, I think all of you guys know that, so I didn't explain that part. Uh, what was that? B basically two, right? B two, the most expensive airplane, and one more time. Swapping the thing, so it's coming in and getting out. Okay, nice and clean. Everything is fine. And um, one thing you can do is you can always, uh, when you press O to select the objects, when you're selecting something, you can actually say, I want to make sure that the conduction path is all fine. And um, over there, you have the con conduction path, and you can recalculate the conduction path or verify the conduction path. And uh, well, it, it does say that they are not assigned to any windings, but the conduction path are all fine. Okay, so let me go and uh, uh, create the windings for you now. So this is the same as before. So you can actually skip this part, this part uh, if you want. Um, you just say add windings, and it's going to be winding number one. Uh, uh, winding one, and uh, basically you would say Let me just actually see. I think we do have the windings already defined. Yeah, so you don't need to add any windings. Just go and say, I want to add, um, I want to add the terminals into the windings. So that's basically it. Um, so just let me sure that everything is fine with that. Okay, so we have four windings for four uh, phase, and therefore we should be able to do that. So right click and say add windings and we add A2 into the winding 1 and we add uh, B1 into the winding 2 and then we add uh, basically B2 into the winding, winding 3 and for the winding 4 we just add uh, C1 and actually if you say terminals not assigned to any windings you just see the one that are available so the winding, th okay, so here's the problem. Uh, we are going to put each phase into the, each phase into one windings. And for B, we have, um, B are in phase B, but we have four terminals because B is already cut it into half. So therefore we have four terminals. And uh, while the other one, they don't have the terminals right there because it's not cutted, so we have just two terminals. So in that case, what we want to do is we want to just uh, assign. Uh, so basically, uh, I want to reassign this. So delete all terminals. And over here, I want to make sure that I'm assigning only Bs uh, to this. So. Oh, I did delete it. So you don't want to delete that. So what you want to do is you want to uh, right click uh, and then you want to say um, remove from windings. Okay, and then on the winding two you want to add. Um, sorry, uh, on the winding two you want to add um, all the B wind all the V term excitation terminals. To one winding okay I hope that you understand why I did that so one of these will have four while the other one would have uh, three so um, I wish that so let me just make it like nicer because um, I want to make sure that it also uh, follow the alpha alphabetical order so three is going to be uh, the C's okay and four, winding four is gonna be the D's. So you can say, uh, show me only the stuff that is not uh, assigned to any windings, and you can do that. So that's that's basically it. And right there, I have all my assignments. So as you can see, the B has four terminals assigned to that. Perfect. So that will conclude uh, how to do the the excitations. And finally. What you want to do is you want to go to the meshing and uh, for the coil mesh, 
uh, now you can decrease the amount because um, now that everything is divided by by four you can actually instead of 16,000 say um, 14 uh, 4,000 and for 4,000 you can say 1,000 so everything is divided and that will uh, save you some time for the calculations so uh, run this uh, and you see that everything is fine and then you can run your um, simulations and um, I expect that the simulation can run way faster than the other one because it's one fourth of the time and uh, I will come back when the simulation is done.